Welcome to this tutorial on how to build a dial-controlled enchantment setup. It looks like this. This item frame here is the control panel, and when you want the bookshelves to appear, simply place any item in the item frame. <laughs> and voila! They appear out of thin air! No telling where they came from. <laughs> um, and the, the really cool bit is that now, when you rotate this item, it'll hide bookshelves. Two bookshelves every time until it gets down to one. And then it goes back up to all of them again. Um, and when you're done and you want to hide all of the bookshelves, just remove the item. Um, I think this is really cool. It's admittedly not as useful as it used to be when we had the old enchantment system and there was more need to be able to add and remove bookshelves easily, but I like having it just for the cool factor. <laughs> so um, let's get to it. The footprint of the system is this 9 by 11 blocks and it's 6 blocks high. The resources you need are these, a bunch of blocks for building with, the enchantment table, the 15 bookshelves, 15 sticky pistons, a bunch of redstone dust, 6 redstone comparators, 17 repeaters, and an item frame. So to start off, let's place the enchantment table, and that goes here, two blocks up like so. Count in five blocks and put it on that one in the middle. And then the next thing to do is to place the sticky pistons around it underneath where the bookshelves will go. So here, here, like this, all the way around the enchantment table and then leave one gap in the middle to walk through. And then the bookshelves go on top of these. The next thing to do is to put down the repeaters that will be powering these pistons. So that's two at the front here, like that, along the sides, four like this. Same on both sides. This one left empty because it's being powered from this side instead. Five along the back, like that. Now let's build the control system. The item frame goes here, so two blocks between the, this block and the bookshelves when they're down. And then behind this, we want to place a comparator facing away from the item frame with a block in front of it, like that. The next thing is to place blocks here in this configuration, and you want redstone dust there, 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 and there, a repeater facing this way here, and a comparator facing that way there, in comparison mode. The next thing is that we want to send the signal down. So we do that like this. Uh, and this is really important because we want the signal strength to be exactly right when it reaches here. So it's got to be like this. <laughs> um, continue this all the way along and connect it to all of the repeaters. And then for each corner here at the back, place two comparators like that with a block in between them, or redstone dust in between them, but a block saves on redstone. And then connect this to all of the repeaters on the side. And do that for both sides, like that. And then the final thing to do is on either side, continue the redstone signal like this into a block 
place a repeater there and then connect it to the remaining two repeaters at the front. So this will work now, um, but due to the delay from the repeaters differing in different parts of the system, it's a bit sort of blocky. Um, it doesn't look all that good when the, the bookshelves appear. There's no way to make them all appear at exactly the same time unless you add a lot of delay to all of them, which is really impractical when you actually come to use the system. So what I did is add a bit more delay to some of them to create more of a ripple effect. So on the back here, for each corner one, you want to change the repeater to two ticks. The two pistons at the front on each side also want to be two ticks, like this. And then this remaining repeater here, set it to three ticks. And now, it looks a little bit better when the, uh, the pistons add and remove the bookshelves. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the system. Enjoy. <laughs> Ah, so easily amused.